Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America, and Jim Jordan is done playing games. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out, and they help our channel continue to grow. So Jim Jordan stepped to the microphone today, and he made an announcement that's going to shake the White House. It's going to shake the Department of Justice, and it's the first time since the Obama administration that I can remember this happening. Jim Jordan said today there will be a vote. Most likely it will pass. And they will hold Merrick Garland, the attorney general, will be held in contempt. It's the same thing that some Trump associates have gone to prison for, being held in contempt of Congress. It's the same thing Merrick Garland's Department of Justice has prosecuted. So now what happens? Well, does Merrick Garland's Justice Department prosecute him? I mean, it's his Justice Department. So who's going to prosecute this case? Likely scenario, it goes nowhere, but this is the rule of law administration. This is the administration telling you, you must follow the rule of law. Nobody's above the law. Well, now there's going to be a question posed to this administration. Is Merrick Garland above the law? I want you to listen to what Jim Jordan had to say. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Um, last September, the Speaker of the House announced that the uh, House of Representatives would be entering an impeachment inquiry phase of our oversight work. On December 13th, the full House of Representatives voted to, to do just that, to formalize that. Um, this is a power that is exclusively, uh, exclusively resides in the House of Representatives and one of the most important powers that we have as, a, as an institution and as a body. Um, Robert Hur on page one of his special counsel report said Joe Biden knowingly kept classified information, Joe Biden knowingly disclosed classified information, and he disclosed that information to someone who wasn't allowed to get it. On page 231, he told, us, he told us why Joe Biden did those things. He said Joe Biden had strong motivations for ignoring classified procedures because he was writing a book, a book for which he got paid $8 million. So we have motive, an $8 million motive. We have the elements of the crime, knowingly keeping, knowingly disclosing, giving that information to someone who wasn't allowed to get it. We have all that, and yet the special counsel said he would not recommend charges for uh, President Biden. We think we're entitled to, we don't, we don't think, we know we're entitled to all the evidence, and that includes the best evidence, which is this audio tape. That's why we sent the subpoena. The attorney general is being clear. He's not going to give that information to us. So, um, that's why we have the contempt resolution. We assume this is going to wind up in court, but we think our case is strong and we think that we will prevail. But step one is to pass the resolution holding the attorney general in contempt for not giving the House of Representatives, the body who's in an impeachment inquiry phase of our oversight responsibilities, not giving us the best evidence. Finally, I would just say this. We think the privilege has already been waived. We think when they uh, gave us the transcript, they've waived the privilege. And understand that there have already been times where the transcript that we've received from the White House doesn't match up with what was actually said by the President of the United States. And so, again, for all those reasons, uh, we think we need this information, and that's why the resolution will be on the floor today.